Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So tonight's video is about this little uh, Bedini window motor I made. Um, I actually had this on a different configuration before uh, with optal time and stuff, but um, I made it to where these actually come off so you don't screw these and you can take the coils off. Um, there's two of them. The inner magnet, if you could see it in there, it's just a round three quarter inch magnet on a quarter inch shaft. And um, this is the little Bedini circuit. So we have the transistor here, we have the diode in the middle, um, and then here's the resistors that you could change for different speeds and things like that. Um, at the moment, these are all in parallel, so both, both coils are in parallel. And um, then as you come back, the typical Bedini output through the diode and out, um, the negative of the output is actually connected to the positive of the first battery. So um, when this comes out of here it actually puts these two batteries in series so the charging comes through here into these cap dumps these are the ones that I make and sell on my channel and um, comes through here this is a setup for 16 volt discharge so it's right around 16.5 through the amp meter and then into the second battery so we're gonna fire this up and you can see how it runs it's the circuits really interesting um, as you'll be able to see it, it doesn't really act like an opto timer or something like that but let's check it out it's pretty neat how it kind of changes gears as it gets going so this thing is screaming uh, 26,800 RPMs And you can see right here on the scope, this is charging the capacitor. Boom. Boom. It's turning with it. But what's neat is when you start, you know, you start um, putting some load on this, you know, the current increase, if you see that, it's about eight. And then as you put more load, it starts backing off. But now this, the amount of pulses are like exponential so you've got like 15 pulses now per per turn on which is really neat for this motor and now we're using less power than we did at, at full power which is a pretty unique little circuit so and this is not self-starting so you want to start this way you can you go the other way So pretty neat little little system. Um, like I said, these are in parallel. Um, I'm actually going to uh, take it apart and put them in series to get a little bit lower RPM and um, see if I can get it working at a you know instead of 26,000, right, right around 12,000 or something around there. So stay tuned for the next video and um, thank you for watching. Um, this is actually going to be going on my website pretty soon, so. If you guys are interested, just leave in the comments.